looks like it's your first time using a waypoint. If you place your hand on a waypoint, open your map and select a waypoint activated with blue. Once you place your hand on a waypoint, it will glow with blue light, activating the schema. If you open the map and select an activated waypoint, you can instantly travel to that location. than last time, so I guess it went well. Anyway, I have something to tell you. Do you know how to transfer upgrade levels? I thought as much. If you want to prepare yourself properly... Brother, let me tell you something I learned from one of my other customers. When you perform a transfer, the older equipment's upgrade level is complete. Got that, brother? Transfer... Melky, the storage manager, advised you to get ready for the battle against Archeon, and taught you how to effectively upgrade your equipment. You can now own even stronger equipment by upgrading it. Take a gander before you head off on your adventure. I'm sure. That was close. I can't believe the ghastly tales were true. You absolutely need to grow skills. It's a must. There is a way to make your skills stronger. You'll need to use skill growth books. I knew it. Enhance your skills. With Following Thomas's advice, you visited the skills researcher, Adrian. Adrian taught you how to craft and use skill growth books. Armed with this new knowledge, you now have the potential to become even stronger. Necklaces, earrings, rings, cloth, yeah. and leather! <laughs> the basic component! Ah, usually! You the Lord's aide, Dave, introduced you to an armorsmith at Castleton named Rachel. Rachel gave you some materials and told you to craft some armor.
well, it might be hard to make something better than what you already have. <laughs> Hello again. Not a bad job at all. The more you... That's all I can teach you for now. Keep crafting and upgrading your armor. You successfully craft your armor using Rachel's materials. You will bring more materials you find on the road to a crafter to make other types of armor. This is not good. This is a contract scroll meant for the Starlight Observatory ruins, and it came to the wrong place. I should send it back before it's due, but I can't leave my post. Are you sure? I can't entrust it to just anyone. Oh, wait. Aren't you the adventurer who helped Martinet in the Lord's Aid? You made the wolf hunting contest possible, didn't you? Please deliver it to Elira at the Starlight Observatory ruins. Oh, I'm so glad this contract can be completed on time. The Resistance always lends a helping hand to those in need. We get requests to help with everything from minor problems to high-risk life-or-death missions. Normally, only Resistance soldiers can do this, but you have Clay's token, right? If he trusts you, we certainly can too. Take a look at some contracts if you want. Now, take this to Ilira, oh, and before you go, you should stop by Marianne, the access- Always something to do, even in the rain. Look at the contracts before you go. an adventurer. Let's congratulate them. The fifth monument stone blessed in it.
It is said that long ago the seeds of a flower with jewels for petals fell on an unnamed land and it became the beautiful field it is today. Goblins have long occupied and mined this mysterious gem-rich land and they do not hesitate to slaughter any human who dares disturb them. Pray to the gods to fill the entire world with light. Long ago, the mages of Venelux built an observatory to watch the stars in the sky, but the Archeum destroyed the tower, leaving it in ruins. It is now being used as a base for those adventuring in the Estella Fields, Carmine Forest, and the Nesting Grounds. do for you only resistance so oh it's you i heard a lot about you from Nob. nice to meet you you've got here take a look at these contracts don't worry they all have generous rewards
contract you just took. Let's see. You've got some good... Oh, that's my goblin friend over there, who's been pretty upset lately. to be a while. I heard it, guys. Thank you. I hope the watch captain can trust you like family and come up with countermeasures. Really?
Long ago, the mages of Venelux built an observatory to watch the stars in the sky, but the Archeum destroyed the tower, leaving it in ruins. It is now being used as a base for those adventuring in the Estella Fields, Carmine Forest, and the Nesting Grounds. of Castleton contract manager Nas, he met with Elira, the contract manager at the Starlight Observatory Ruins. She said that she could use some help and suggested that you take on a contract.
this head up. Starlight Observatory was originally the land of our goblins. <laughs> Busy even at night. <laughs> you should check Do you want to use the contract like coins here. that you earned through contracts? Take a look around. I heard the contract scroll got to the Starlight Observatory ruins safely. <laughs> Thank you. Rachel told you to develop your armor to withstand high impact attacks. You'll have to learn to craft better armor pieces and improve them to prepare for tougher fights ahead. enough materials.
Anything else you'd like to see? to Elira, the contract manager of the Starlight Observatory Ruins, and you've fulfilled the contract at her request. You can use the contract coins you received from fulfilling contracts to purchase items from contract coin merchants. with the contract depot of the Allied Resistance. Already? Don't forget you can use your contract coins to buy goods from contract coin merchants. Castleton is the closest, so speak with the local contract coin merchant next time. Huh! 
What brings you here? Who said that? Was it that goblin again? Don't waste your time and energy. Be on your way. Can you please come this way? The captain doesn't believe what that goblin said. Ugh. The Watch Captain really believe you? You're amazing, brother! How did you do it? Tell me your secret! Possessing a black heart. Front paws to the spider. Is this what it says? Is this all? This isn't enough. Goblins always write in three phrases. The last sentence is torn off. Ruby was perplexed after seeing the orders. Goblins always write in sets of three sentences, but the last sentence had been torn off and was missing. Ruby said that if you went to find Henson, the former watch captain, he would help you find the torn pieces. I've been working at the Starlight Observatory ruined storage for a long time. Yes, now. What is it? This is a dangerous place and best avoided. Well, some people call me that. Possessing a black heart. Those goblins colluded with Archeum. Where did you get this document? I see. The last part is torn from this parchment. It means the order is about to be executed. But we don't know the details. How troublesome. Oh, and goblins always perform a special ritual before a major operation, sharing the details to their members. We might be able to find out what this is all about from the ritual. A 
goblin agitator is leading the ritual. We'll need to figure out the meaning of the final sentence. Will you do that? Thank you. Come meet me here when you find the last piece. Oh, and watch out for the giant goblin butcher. Henson's expression hardened after reading the goblin's commands. The one-eyed hawk said that the fact the final sentence was torn off meant they were about to carry out the mission. Henson said, you must hurry to find the missing sentence. We head to the spider forest! Brothers, we meet at...
me. I did it. Don't hit me. Huh? You're the one talking to Ruby at the Starlight Observatory ruins, right? Let me introduce myself. I am Ariella. I am researching the Estella Fields monument stones and the local goblins. Ruby has been feeling uneasy lately. And the goblins have been acting strangely. Based on my investigation, they appear to be gathering here. And they seem to be preparing for an important ritual, but I have no clue what that might be. Do you have any ideas? Huh? Then they're here for... that ritual? How fascinating! I absolutely must know more. I have an idea, adventurer. I will morph you into a goblin, then you can listen in on their gathering. Oh, infiltration isn't one of my strong suits. Better if I send an ex- Here, I'll morph you. Listen up! The ritual is starting! This is our time! A celebration of goblins! By goblins! For goblins! Now, let's begin! <laughs>
Now, here's the last emblem. Don't forget, meet us there! On the day of battle, the Erstella goblins tear off the last sentence of their chieftain's orders and divide it up to carry amongst themselves. If you gather all of the pieces, you can complete the missing sentence. Good job. Front paws to the spider, and tail towards the star. They plan to lure the resistance into Carmine Forest, and take control of the Starlight Observatory ruins. How cunning. The Starlight Observatory ruins are in a strategic spot and must be defended. Go to the Starlight Observatory ruins and let the god know about the goblins' attack plan. In the meantime, I'll gather some troops. Time is of the essence. Hurry. I'll meet you there. The missing sentence said that an elite contingent of Estella goblins was headed for the Starlight Observatory ruins. You went back to the ruins to warn the guards of the ominous news. Hearing this, Henson left to assemble troops. Adventurers who challenge themselves shine. What you need rest. What's the matter? What? An attack? Everyone already left under Captain Ruffalo's order. Oh no. Please activate the magic trap set on the uphill path. Success. Looks like we got rid of them all. They won't come back. Right? Huh? What's that? Again? What to do? We've used all the magic traps. There's one thing we're testing at the top of the... I'm not sure. It's still incomplete. There's no other choice. Ivedra, activate the magic trap at the end of the ruined observatory. We'll take care of the goblins in the meantime.
It was a bit risky this time. We'd have been in quite a pickle if it hadn't been for you, adventurer. Thank you, adventurer. Not yet. What are you doing? Kill them! This is ours from this day forward! Huge monster! Stop them! Everyone descend! We have to block the entrance somehow! We can't let that monster in! Uh, no! There are too many enemies! Oh, adventurers! You have to hang in there! Sorry I'm late. Leave the rest to us. Good! The one I'd hope has come! It's been a long time, Canola the Butcher! Support Ganola. Kill the shamans first. I'll handle Ganola. Good job, everyone. There may be important orders among the Chief's belongings. Look closely. <sighs> On Ruffalo's order, only a minimal guard had been left at the Starlight Observatory ruins. Taking advantage of the lax security, elite goblin troops attacked. Henson's support appeared just in the nick of time, leading to a victory against the goblins.
Where the hell did you find this? It's my armband from back in the day. Thanks for finding it. Do you mind bringing this to Ruffalo? About time this armband gets itself a new owner. He'll get more use out of it than me. Come to think of it, I don't think we've had a chance for introductions. Where are you from? Wisp Island. Do you happen to know anyone named Jan Junath? Ah, I see. Jan is my friend who used to travel around Silesium with me. If it weren't for that insidious Calanthia. That was such a long time ago. I'll see you later. Too much stardust. If you've offered the most stardust to one of the monument stones, you'll be chosen by that stone. <laughs>
We defended the Carmine Forest. You helped protect the Starlight Observatory. And you're not even a member of the Resistance. My thanks. This is his armband. How did you get this? Captain Henson wants me to have this? Me? I don't deserve this. Ten years ago, most of the patrol members died in a plot by the Ark. Before I knew it, I was running away. I brought in reinforcements, but it was too late. My comrades died and the captain lost an eye. Well, he's quite magnanimous. Sorry, but can I ask you a favor? I now know how Captain Henson feels. So you can return this to its true owners. To my comrades who died there ten years ago, fighting to the bitter end. I can't leave my post, so I would ask you to do it for me. You will find the monument of Gestal and Zizero in the Starlight Observatory ruins. Please bury this armband under the monument. After being given the armband, Ruffalo protested that it truly belonged to someone else. He asked you to deliver it to his comrades, who fell in battle a decade ago. It is time to go and find the resting heroes. with the contract depot of the Welcome. Years ago, craftsmen in the employ of the Archim Legion secretly visited the resistance soldiers at the observatory, offering a huge reward for aid in stealing gems from the goblins. The soldiers, who were suffering through a famine, were overwhelmed with temptation. All but three of them left the camp. While the guards were away, the waiting Archim battle platoon readied for the attack. Watch Captain Henson understood the situation all too well. 
He told the three remaining guards to flee, and one of them, Ruffalo, escaped into the woods with his head hung low. Battling against an endless sea of enemies, the two remaining guards died horrible deaths. Henson, who lost an eye, rose again each time he fell, sword held high. Just as Henson, gravely wounded, neared his own death, Ruffalo returned. He had not fled at all, but instead brought reinforcements who drove back the enemy forces. Although the bravery of Henson and his men saved many lives, he blamed himself for the death of the soldiers and resigned as watch captain. Ten years later, he still quietly defends the front lines and is admired and respected by the local resistance forces. Gastal and Cicero, Henson's former comrades, performed their duty until the very end. Their honor and perseverance earned them a place deep within the Resistance's hearts. Adventurers who challenge themselves shine, but you need rest. I feel something familiar. Of course. You are. I've been drawing since I was... I drew that... Adventurers who challenge themselves shine, but you need rest. Luck always finds you in unexpected places. It's no different for adventurers. It's clearly your lucky day when you encounter a mystic globe while exploring.
Off into the woods or the abyss. Wherever you go, as long as you're well prepared, you have nothing to worry about. Hmm? Did you find a miss? Wow! Oh! I should go find one! The Arthur Legion often relied on mystic globes and mystic portals to move supplies. For the resistance, they have become as valuable as treasure chests.
with the contract depot of the Allied Resistance. Undead beasts. We have lots of contracts around here. But the more options you have, the harder it is to choose. <laughs> Carmine Forest Waypoint. I'll be waiting.
once green forest lost its vitality and withered to a darkish red, becoming what it is today. They say that the blood spiders, now the masters of Carmine Forest, will capture any humans who set foot there for use as sacrifices. Hope whoever I spoke to arrives soon. Oh, yes? Can I help you? Oh, goodness. It's a pleasure to meet you. I am Rutain. You really came. What a relief. I'm currently investigating a disappearance in Vienta Village. But I'm running out of time and urgently need the help of a magic wielder. So, I left Luna 17 behind and set it to communicate with me when it detects someone nearby who can wield magic. Right beside Laslan is a dominion called Stoneguard. The biggest town there is called Vienta. Recently, a child named Lucille went missing from the village. The Resistance has launched a search to find her. The problem is that even after a day of searching, there's no sign of her. We expanded the search area, and my friends and I are now investigating the nesting grounds and Carmine Forest. A monster known as Morakai lives in this Carmine Forest. If the child did come all the way out here, she's in grave danger. I've hidden mana recording devices throughout the forest to keep track of Morakai's movements. Could you please retrieve those devices for me? In the meantime, I will search Morakai's hideout for any signs of the child. I hid them in clusters of spider eggs around the forest. I made them so that only magic wielders can recover them, keeping them safe from monsters that could damage them. Dig them out of the spider eggs and the clamps will loosen in response to your magic. Then, just bring them back to me. Rutane, whom you met in the forest, was investigating the disappearance of a child from Vienta village. He said the search area, Carmine Forest, was extremely dangerous. So he was looking for someone to help him collect his mana recording devices, which he had designed and crafted to record the movements of any living beings. While Rutin was busy investigating the monster Morakai's nest, you wandered around the forest collecting the hidden mana recording devices. You fought off the spiders that interrupted you and collected the devices that had been- You're back already. I hope you didn't run into any trouble. Thank you. I'll check these for any sign of the child. Please wait a moment. Hmm. There's no trace of the child on this device either. This... Isn't good. Hmm. In Morakai's hideout, I found a crumpled letter that says, Abduct children. 
In any case, it seems the child is not missing, but rather kidnapped. If she's not in the forest, they might have taken her somewhere else. Oh, I must let my comrades know. Oh, you can deliver a message for me. Oh, thank you. This way I can continue my search in the north side of the forest. A comrade of mine, Robert, is currently searching for any traces of the child in the nesting grounds. But please, pass this new information on to him. Rutane, having analyzed the mana recording devices, confirmed that there were no signs of children in the forest, but also said that he had found orders to abduct children in Morakai's nest. Knowing that the situation was even graver if it was a kidnapping rather than a disappearance, he asked you to inform Robert, another member of the terrific trio, he also mentioned that Robert would be looking for the missing child in the nesting grounds. I've been working at the Starlight Observatory Ruined Story. Red flowers bloom across this beautiful meadow, located between Laslin and Stonegard. However, contrary to its appearance, it is home to aggressive creatures such as terror birds and quillixes, which is troubling for the merchants who pass through. you. Do you have business here? Hmm. I could tell from the spider webs all over your shoes. What? He discovered an order to kidnap children? Dear gods, no wonder we were unable to find any traces, no matter how hard we searched. Hang on. Hmm. Now that you mention it, something did feel off back there. I'd better investigate again. I saw some wrecked carriages here and there across the nesting grounds. They seemed strange, but I didn't notice anything particular. But what if the kidnappers did that on purpose so there wouldn't be any clues left? That's what happened. I'll check again for even the smallest trace they might have left behind to tell us who did this or where they went. Oh, all right then. You seem to know what you're doing. I'll go and investigate over this way. 
So could you take a look at the abandoned carriage in the terror bird nest over there? All right, I'll go and track down the kidnappers. If you find anything, come back over here. Let's share what we find. Robert, who had been investigating the nesting grounds, immediately redoubled his efforts when he heard Rutain's message. He recalled some suspicious areas of the nesting grounds, asked you to look for any clues he missed, and then set out on his own. The places that Robert told you about were some abandoned carriages and a suspicious terror bird nest. Carriages passing through the nesting grounds are often attacked by fierce birds. However, there were signs that suggested that these abandoned ones had not been damaged by beak or talon. When we searched through the seemingly insignificant carriages, we uncovered ledgers hidden inside, the pages of which contained many names of both Inside the nest that Robert asked you to investigate, there was a large terror bird corpse, a broken blade plunged deep within it. Could it be the sword of someone who tried to protect the carriages? The only clue as to its wielder is an unusual pattern engraved upon the blade. Robert might know more about the person who wielded the sword. finished investigating the area. Tell me what you found. These ledgers. These look like children's names. Look, this ledger says Vienta, and Lucille's name is checked off. That's the name of the child we're looking for. But there are other names that have been checked off here too. Then, she isn't the only child they've kidnapped. Hmm, you're very thorough. 
A sword stuck in the corpse of a terror bird. Hmm? There was a pattern like this on the sword? Damn it. That's used by the Archeum Legion. Could they be responsible for all these kidnappings? We need to act fast. I discovered a wrecked cart in which I found a piece of a partly burned map. You know what that means, right? I'm going after those scoundrels, so please, take this map piece to Sophia in Vienta. She'll know what to do with it. I see you've heard the rumors. Every weapon I make is exceptional. Take a look.
important mission, so unless it's urgent, please come to me about it another time. Robert? You should be in the nesting grounds investigating the missing child case right now. What did he say? Damn it. So, it wasn't a simple missing child case after all. One moment. I found a piece of a map while searching around here too. If we put these two together... Oh dear. This shows the staging area of the Archeum Legion. I will inform Captain Da Vinci immediately, and we will stage a rescue. Thank you for your help. I'd better contact Robert and Rutane, too. What? He went to the staging area alone? That fool! Who knows how many Archeum soldiers will be there? I'm sorry to ask more of you, but could you hurry to the place on the map and help Robert? Knowing him, he might have jumped in already, though. Going alone may well get you killed. I will report to Captain Da Vinci as quickly as possible and lead reinforcements there. Thank you so much. Looking at the map, the place is over a stone bridge on the north side of the nesting grounds. I'll mark the exact location on your map. Robert realized that this was an Archeum Legion conspiracy. After locating the children by using a discarded map piece, he asked you to bring the clues to his colleague Sophia in Vienta, while he journeyed ahead to the Archeum hideout to ensure the children's safety. Sophia said she would gather reinforcements and asked you to go and assist Robert. Some of the survivors who fled Stoneguard Castle came back to Vienta village to follow Jake Handa. Now, with a huge guild backing him, Jake Hander joined forces with Sienna Parsons, and the Stone Guard Allied Resistance was born.
How did you follow me? Where's Sophia? Follow me here. Where's Sophia? Challenge. It's thanks to you that I survived. Actually, no, I had it all under control. But why did you come alone? Oh. Someone worries too much. A reinforcement's coming. Then go. Save the children. Quickly. 
Be careful. I'm sure there are still some soldiers inside. Well, you can hide behind me, if you like. Let's hurry! The children must be deeper in. They kept children in such a foul place. Who goes there? Have you come here with a death wish? Damn, there are lots of them. This should be fun. Adventurer, just focus and fight. I'll support you. We'd better tidy things up here a bit first. Let's go. Everyone stop them! Robert, you can't! Rushing in recklessly again with no regard to what's around you! Robin, we're over here! You're a sight for sore eyes. Now that Da Vinci is here, I can take it. Lots of them. This should be fun. Adventurer, just focus and fight. I'll support you. We'd better tidy things up here a bit first. Let's go. Everyone, stop them! Robert, you fool! Rushing in recklessly again with no regard to what's around you! Robert, we're over here! <laughs> You're a sight for sore eyes. Now that Da Vinci is here. I can take a situation. Did everyone make it out okay? Sure. You know I'm capable of that much, don't you? Running recklessly into the battlefield, you mean? Is that why you sent him first? Because you were worried about me? Oh, shut up. <sighs> This is Zeroth's secret base. Maybe we can find the one behind the kidnapping. Pardon my late introduction. I'm Da Vinci Aaron, 
leader of the Lastlin Allied Resistance Forces. Who knows what they've been up to in the meantime? I need to focus on my magic. Wait. Done! They're here. The children are locked up. Kill them all! Bring it all, curse of Kazar. Stay in formation. Rescue the children immediately! The children are safe! <laughs> this isn't over. We have to find Seroth. We've saved all the children. But it isn't over yet. These were all lower-ranked soldiers. Their commander, Zeroth, must be around here somewhere. I see. Sophia, leave with the children. You, follow me. Keep your corner! 
Can't have been an easy fight. You okay? We could take out Zeroth and rescue the children, thanks to you. But even with Zeroth's death, Kazar will never give up on Laslin. The Archeum Legion will be back. Many have gathered under the Resistance's banner to fight the Archeum. Brave, determined people, willing to risk their lives. People just like you. Uh, and humble, too. Rumors about you are already spreading through the newer... I've heard stories about a Starborn who'd come to Castleton, and has been going around helping everyone they could find lately. Is that you? I heard what happened on Wisp Island, what happened ten years ago, and how you went into a power frenzy. Many others in the Resistance also suffer because of this power, both from its side effects and from being hunted by Archeum. But that power has great potential, too. If you join us, it may be possible to realize that potential. What do you say? I look forward to seeing you in action. Everyone escaped safely, Da Vinci. Sophia will lead the children safely to the village. Let's head back. led you to the hideout of Zeroth, the last and commander of Archeum Legion. While you were fighting alongside Robert, Sophia came with Da Vinci and more resistant soldiers. You managed to defeat Zeroth and rescue the kidnapped children. Da Vinci explained that Kazar was behind all this and asked if you would join the resistance in their fight against the Archeum. Thank 
got back. We've brought all the children back safely, and came back here after discussing what to do with the hideout. You aren't hurt, I hope. Thanks to you, we were able to save the children, and that fool Robert. I thought my heart would drop right out of my... <clears throat> Never mind. Zeroth was the Archeum's commander, overseeing operations in Laslin. Thanks to you, the region will be safe for a while. They are really frightened, but everyone is fine. Nothing but a few minor injuries. It's all thanks to you and Robert for taking action so quickly. These plans for a kidnapping operation have the name Calanthia on them. Calanthia used to be a very infamous witch of Archeo. There were rumors that she died, so it's strange to hear her name again. Anyway, according to this, they're seeking children with star fragments to extract the power. You too? I wonder Captain Da Vinci seemed to be talking to you about it especially. I've also heard of that power. I had no idea the Archeum was so obsessed with it. Captain Da Vinci personally accepted you into the Resistance, so please, feel free to ask for help if you ever feel that you may be in danger too. The Resistance was created to fight the Archeum Legion. The truth is, the Captain saved our lives when we were young. Retain, Robert, and I. We owe our lives to him, and we respect and admire him more than anyone else. When he saved us, I swore that when I grew up, the three of us would form a guild and become people who could be of service to him. Captain Da Vinci also encouraged us by gifting us a flag he kept with him. When he was a trainee so long ago, his support made us the force we are today. <laughs> well, thank you. But after experiencing what happened this time, I feel like the three of us alone aren't enough. I felt it even more deeply with you helping us. I think it's time for our guild to let go of the name The Terrific Trio. We are so much stronger when we stand together than when we stand alone. Our guild is greater than the sum of its members, just like Captain Da Vinci's Resistance. Sophia congratulated you on becoming a member of the Resistance. She reflected on what an honor it was to be personally chosen by Captain Da Vinci, telling you the tales of her memories of being rescued by him as a child. She also revealed her ambition to create a larger guild in order to have the skills to stand side by side with her hero. Lupius's army swept across Laslin. Sophia and Rutain, siblings whose parents had died in the war, fled for their lives and lost their way in the spider forest. Their childhood friend Rob searched for them, at last discovering them hanging in a spider web deep in a cave. The three children struggled to undo the webs. But in the end, they were all captured by the owner of the cave, Morakai, who meant to feed them to his spiders. At the very moment they thought it was all over, they heard the clash of weapons outside the cave. Rutain's hero, Captain Da Vinci, had been tracking Morakai when he found the trail left by the children. Backed by resistance soldiers, he rushed to the rescue. The hand that reached out to them in that time of despair planted dreams of heroism in the children's minds, and they resolved to become just like Da Vinci, aiding those in need. Ten years later, 
the strong and ambitious warrior Sophia, the charming and agile hunter Robert, and the gentle and kind wizard Rutane became known as the terrific trio of the Resistance. Though the Druid trio possessed excellent skills and a strong sense of justice, they also endured an unhappy childhood after Captain Da Vinci rescued.